Hi everybody, my name's Jordy. Welcome. Uh, we're going to get into a tarot card and oracle card reading for the Pisces Collective. I've already pulled all of the cards using the Spirit Animal Oracle and the uh, Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed uh, Your significator, the, the topic, the theme of your reading, is the Messenger of Fire, which is a very beautiful, youthful energy. Um, <clears throat> it speaks of communication, passionate communication, following your passions, your dreams, your goals, um, flirting with the unknown is what I'm hearing, you know, um, having had a taste of something that you desire and your heart rate is kind of beating, wanting this whether it's a relationship dynamic, it looks like one in the spread today, or it could be something that is you know, closely related to your dreams, your goals, your aspirations with your heart. Uh, but this messenger of fire is kind of saying that communication is open, um, that your relationship dynamic may be very open for interpretation or for change. And I'm actually hearing from this card that things are are quite wide open right now. So you could be in the beginning stages of a relationship dynamic, or you could be in a more um, flexible relationship dynamic that you've already been accustomed to. Uh, you're coming through today as the Queen of Fire, whether you're male or female Pisces. And we do have another character on the board coming through as the Fox Spirit, which says, think on your feet here. So we do have this uh, magician-like energy in your environment. Here you are, queen of fire in the past, recent past here. Uh, she's holding a candle and it's, and it's burning right underneath of her heart chakra there in the card. So it's like you've set an intention to open your heart recently. And that has called in a soulmate or it will call in a soulmate, or it's called in a, a higher calling with this judgment card reversed underneath of the queen. I don't know if you want to respond to this higher calling just yet. I don't think you've made a final decision about it. Um, I think you're just focusing on being here in the now with the hummingbird spirit and enjoying the nectar, you know, enjoying the experience, the sensations, the emotions that arise from this connection. And, you know, the hummingbird is a symbol of our ancestors, you know, part of you may be recognizing that there's a, a deep connection here. Maybe your ancestors brought you together with this person for a reason. Right in the middle of the reading in the top row is the otter spirit reverse, which says you are never alone. I do feel like maybe you are used to being on your own and perhaps this person is also used to being on their own. Um, or it could actually mean that you're in a relationship dynamic that's building and growing together, but you're not alone within it, you know, it could go over two, two different ways here. Um, but it is a love card, you know, and next to this card is the armadillo spirit, which says set healthy boundaries where things are wide open right now, um, un unformed, you know, there's lots of flexibility. There's lots of different ways things could go in this dynamic. Um, the justice card in the future is kind of saying bringing order to chaos, bringing higher levels of commitment, contracts together, um, an understanding and agreement, something that will bring balance to your situation. And uh, in the current moment is the spider spirit, which says make your dreams real. It's reversed, and I'm, I'm being drawn to the spider web mainly in this dynamic. Um, I feel like your feelings, your heart, your attention is caught in this um, romantic web, you know? Someone has spun a romantic web. Maybe you've done it together, and uh, maybe it's part of your dreams being realized. Is this coming together with this? higher aspect of yourself and 
uh, the oak composition is, is calling you to rise above and to meet it at a higher level of ascension. So there is a call with the, the judgment call reverse in the seven of wands to stand up for what it is that you want in this dynamic, to define the boundaries, to uh, respond to your heart's desires. And, uh, but representing you in this reading, as well as the queen of fire, is the frog spirit reverse, which says clear out the clutter. I don't know if you actually have the capacity with the with the setting healthy boundaries card above it to particularly clear out certain things in your life right now. Maybe it's not the right timing, judgment card reverse. Um, maybe you have to kind of adapt with what it is that you do have, things that you do have to maintain right now or hold on to and, uh, and kind of hope that things come together. So, um, I don't know if you're ready to make space for this connection in the way that it wants to express itself, but we do have this character, this fox energy that's thinking quick on their feet, uh, which is challenging you to speed up this manifestation. Um, they want to speed things up. And I do, I think you do as well. Um, you're in the queen of fire energy, regardless of gender, Pisces. Uh, but if we go back to the original card here, you're kind of looking at it and you're not sure, you know, you're kind of looking over your shoulder, so to speak, uh, thinking of all of the implications and practical aspects of following your heart and your passion right now. Um, so the only thing that's going to really positively aspect this relationship dynamic right now is to set healthy boundaries like the armadillo spirit says and to stand up for this connection and to assert your uh your desires your passions your love uh, declare declare your love pisces even if it feels like everything's still a mess right now even if it feels like you can't clear out space for what it is that you want um, there is a romantic energy in this dynamic, and um, in order for you to keep uh, this intention pure and burning bright, um, you can you can express these parts of yourself. Um, so the judgment card is about a declaration. So is the justice card here today. And uh, with the Seven of Fire here, you may have been waiting for the right moment, but the right moment's not coming for a long time here, is what I'm getting, Pisces. Uh, things will come together and organize themselves in a way that you don't even know is possible in the future with the Justice card here. But the, the difference between the future position and the outcome position in my spread is that the future position is, is only full of potential if you stay the course or if you heed the advice. The outcome is what is going to happen at this very moment or down the road based off of what you're doing in this very moment or about to do. So the outcome can change. The future can change as well. But right now, the outcome is saying, uh, you know, fight for this, Pisces. Um, and the rest will sort itself out. All right. Well... That's what I've got for your reading today, Pisces. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.